What's going on everyone? This is Josh here for Gecko Gaming. I am here to open this, a um, booster box um, of uh, set boosters. Uh, so what we're going to do for this, I actually have two of these. I got another one over here. Uh, and we're going to break this into uh, smaller videos. I've done this in the past. It's like, honestly, it's taken like 45 minutes to get through this. Uh, and it just seems like it's going to be a really long video uh, if uh, if we don't break it in. So we're going to try and get through, this is about 30 packs. We'll try and get through maybe about 15. We'll do 15 in the other. And then we'll do the other booster box um, in another video. So here we go. So there is wrapping paper. Let me bring my box over for trash because no one is going to want to see those packs. Um, so let's try and get this lined up right away. So here you go. So here's the booster box. Nice little picture of... Um, I actually got that, uh, the Xanathar, from the pre-release. So I already got that card. Uh, really nice. Um, just had to self-promote there. This is a little weird. But, um... Okay. Just, uh... Let me go ahead and... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Normally don't do this. It's just... This box is a little weird, so... 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. That's good. And then 1, 2, 2, 3, 2, 4, 2, 5, 2, 6, 8, 7, 28, 29, 30. Wonderful. 30 packs. Just going to tuck this back in here. And we're just going to go ahead and keep that. We're just going to store. Um, as we go through this, we'll just store some of the cards. So put these over here. Um, try and get through 10 first, and then we'll, we'll move on from there. So here we go, 10 packs. Starting up, this is uh, being recorded on July 23rd. So this is the opening day, if you will, of... Oh. It's the opening day. Is that gold stamped? can't tell if that's like gold stamp if that counts for anything um the opening day if you will of uh adventures in the forgotten realms so we got the art card the common i'm gonna go through these i know i know people have seen a lot of these cards before okay circle of dream druids that's a good card mediator swarm mediator swarm gosh i can't say that so eight damage divided as you choose among X targets. There's our, I don't know if you can see it, the holographic. And, oh, all right, right off the bat, this is the, um, I don't know if you can see that Planeswalker symbol there. Uh, but this is the list card. So let's um, let's go ahead and set that aside. Vampire Knight, that might be good for, um, I got a sort of Knight's deck, sort of. The two rares, but if you count this mythic one here, um, whenever another creature enters the battlefield under your control, um, you may discard a card. If you do, put a plus one plus encounter on that creature. It gains haste until the end of the turn. And it becomes a vampire in addition to its other types. So that's that's kind of nice. Um, so let me, I'm actually going to sort those um, later. I'll just leave them off to the side. Get right back into this, right into this next pack here. Okay, so it's not carved from the list. As long as you see this. Um, actually, if you can see that, you know, if you can see this, then you know it is going to be a card from the list. Um, it's just a little hint there. What is this? That is interesting. Okay. So, Island is your art card. Daily Dispute. Now we're into the, the Uncommons. Common, though, that's kind of interesting. Volo Guide to Monsters. the first rare trickster's talisman is um the hollow and then a pointless um token card not even a token card really so there we go moving right on so you guys open this off camera by accident Okay, so we got another, so um, those of you that are not familiar with um, 
Oh, we got another one of these. So that's the symbol. So this this doesn't have that. So I wonder if that's special. Um, we'll see. Um, if you're new, like these cards, the there aren't tokens. Um, the list cards are in about one every four. So you know you you, um, you have a decent chance at them, but you're not going to get them in every pack, of course. Green Dragon, nice. Oh, Tiamat, nice. There's a Mythic. They are just featured, actually, on the um, Game Nights episode, if you guys have seen that from the Command Zone. So that's nice. Another Mythic there. I'll just leave that aside there. Baleful Beholder is our um, Dungeon of the Mad Mage is, is the token, but Baleful Beholder is the... Um, um, sorry, I cannot speak right now. Is is the... Um, Hollow. Where is that? There's the Trickster Talisman, so I'll just put that over there. I really like this card. I use this card um, in the pre-release. It was um, pretty effective. I use it online, too. Really nice um, early game card, I feel, if you're trying to get out ahead of your opponent. So let's see here. Oh, so this is going to be a card from the list. You can tell right here. Um, doesn't mean it's going to be Mythic, of course. Doesn't mean it's going to be Rare. Um, but it is a card from the list. So it doesn't have the stamp, so. Um, common, uncommon. There's a um, card B roll. Vorpal Sword, nice. Guardian of Faith, nice. All right, an Earth Cult Elemental. And Victimize, that's the card from the list. So I do have a lot of those cards where am I put the list cards? I'll just put that there because it's not the same as a mythic list card. Um, but I do have a lot of those um, type of victimized um, or victimized cards. Um, right off the bat, these don't these feel a little like um, a little off. They're not quite as tight as the. You, you guys have opened some of these set booster packs. You might know what I'm talking about, but it, the pack feels loose. It feels like it's too big. Um, a naughty list card. Blue dragon. It's kind of nice. Another blue dragon. That's interesting. Two blue dragons. And then you could do that. Dungeon Descent. Okay, so our first rare. Wizard Spellbook. All right. Second one. And Great Axe is our... Um, so far we have not got a hollow that that is um, also rare. But that's okay, because we, we've definitely got some mythics right here, and um, mythic from the left. Here we go, we're humming along. I wonder how much this is going to be worth. Actually, I wonder how much this, this is going to be worth here. Okay, so and again, it's kind of unfortunate that you get to see whether or not it's a card from the list, but it is what it is. Pixie Guide. Magic minigame. I do not need that. Red Dragon. Ray of Frost. Brazen Dwarf. I think there's a second Brazen Dwarf in here, too. So that's kind of interesting. They're giving you multiple cards in the same... Oh, here we go. All right. Human Elf Ranger. That's the rare. That's kind of nice, because that's in the... Um... Ooh, and that's kind of interesting. So it's a... I don't know if you can see it, but it's a hollow version of the... Um, showcase. And we don't need these mini games. Let's just do a little clean up here. Bear with me, guys. I would, now I would like this. Um, was it the um, Master Flowers, Grandmaster Flowers? It turns into the dragon. Might be kind of nice there. All right, card from the list. Displacer Beast. So these are kind of nice, actually, that they they have these because it makes it a little more. Like there used to be nothing really on the back. A little some troll, nice. And again, another little some troll. So it's 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 definitely a thing. I definitely want to try this out just because it's a two mana um, elf rogue and it's definitely in the rogue colors. Um, Dritz, nice. So I actually sold my uh, pre-release of this. So I'm really happy that um, I got another one of those because I was really hoping to to. 
I don't know, build around him, but at least use him. Um, giant bar Barbarian, and then Eyes of the Beholder. Scred, I don't know anything about this card. Scred deals damage to target creature equal to the number of snow permanents you control. Okay, so that's nice that we got a bunch of snow permanents now. I wouldn't say it's on the same level as a mythic. Um, however, I don't know. Because, um, like, I don't know these symbols. Um, someone knows in the um, comment section, let me know. Um, also, guys, I want to mention, you know, I cut, mentioned a couple times that I sold different cards. Um, I do have a um, card store in Boston, um, uh, sorry, on TCG Player called Boston Card Games. So if you do want to support uh, me in these uh, pack openings uh, so I can do more of them, uh, please... Uh, I'll throw a link in the description. If you can if you can buy from that, that'd be really helpful. I don't have a Patreon. I don't have any of that stuff right now. So that's really the only way, obviously, besides watching the video and liking and subscribing. Uh, so Tiamat. Oh, that would have been nice if that was the, the gold um, on the front. Hand of Vincio. Okay. And Pixie Guide. This is nice. I like this... Um, I like this is gonna be definitely good for a rolling deck, but you know I like this. I like I like having the the um. It looks really nice. I don't know if you guys can see it, but when you get um one of these, um, showcase cards, uh, that's hollow, to take a look at it because it looks nice. Spider uh, for, I'm just happy that it's not that stupid mini game. I don't even know why they put those in there. I I get it. You know it's, it's something to do if you don't, especially during the pandemic. Um, but it just does nothing. It's not even, you can't even use it for um, um, for a token, which is unfortunate. So Plains, Neverwinter Dryad. Wizard class, nice. That's our first class card. It's kind of surprising. Uh, Gretchen Titch Willow. Warlock class, um, definitely gonna be using that. Oh, Bard class, there we go. There's our first rare. And Magic Missile is going to be the uncommon. I'm sorry, the, the hollow. So you notice that there's um, an art card in the beginning after the plant, the um, land. And at the end, there's the, um, the uh, gosh, I, there, there's the, the hollow. All right, so this is pack 10. So far, we've got two mythics, but one of them was from the list. We've got three lists overall in nine packs, so we're right about on target. Um, for that's not so we got three out of three out of nine, or three out of ten that is right about on target for less cards. Thieves tools they really helped me out too with horde robber. Yeah, I said that wrong for a second. Uh, but def oh demolich this is going to be good especially in a spells matter deck um uh, because you can um a cost uh blue less to cast for each instant sorcery spell so that is nice that's gonna be another mythic right there and that is our sometimes it's tough to see i don't know if you guys can see this but sometimes it's tough to see the hollow until you move the card around uh, which is kind of unfortunate but it is it is what it is so this is again it's a little loose with the, the packaging, but you know, whatever. Roper. Okay. Still looking for that four rare pack. One T uh, Melzon. So I had that in the pre. I did promise I was gonna stop talking about this, but it's it's exciting because it's the first time in a while that. Um, we've actually been able to, to go and, and play in person, but I had that card at the pre-release as well. So there's 11 packs down. Oh, this is interesting. The ending of your first combat phase on your turn, untap target creature you control after this phase is additional combat phase. So it's, that's for one of the... Um, one of the... Uh, planeswalkers. Improvised weapon. Dragon's fire. I'm really looking forward to using this one, especially because I have dragons, a dragon deck. 
I don't know if it's... Oh, nice. Treasure Vault. And this is the new modal. modal. Um, so this is a really nice. I, I feel like this might be... This might be worth something there. I'm just going to drop that down there. And Genius Smith is going to be our... Um, why can I not talk? I just... It's, it's going to be our hollow. All right, so we're definitely we're definitely due for some, and that, that doesn't mean in every single box it's like it's gonna be one out of four, but we're definitely due. And remember, guys, we got like another box. So um, if this box isn't that great, definitely be back because the next box is um, should be a lot better if this one's not good. Long rest, nice. And then fly is going to be our. Oh, this is not. We still got some. We still got you know ten packs here. We still got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we got two more for this video. Um, and we still got fifteen more. So we still got half half of the box left. But you know, and it's not looking good. So another again. Um, Basically, like another not um, list card. Power word kill, kill, definitely good. Human elf warlock, so I might be excited for the Golgari deck. What is it? When dark creature blocks his turn of fable, when creature dies turn, pay two life, draw a card. Okay. Wizard class, Westgate regent, vampire, nice. And then Dwarf Hold Champion. So this is not... I apologize, guys. I like. I, I don't think I can post these videos out of order, but this is not the, the best way to start. Last pack here. We're going to save these for later. Um, island. That's nice. Nice shiny island. And then, again, Tomb of Annihilation. So it's not... Come on, I need that four rare pack. Find the path. Okay. Adult Gold Dragon. Nice. Flying Leaf Lifelink Haste. And Secret Door. So that's going to do it, guys. So that is 15 packs in. We're at the 18 minute mark, so I'm going to cut it off here. Um, we'll definitely be back. Um, I will, I'll get, I'm going to keep these piles. So we'll, we'll take a look at the whole box as a whole so you guys can figure out what it's, you know, what's worth um, getting, uh, if it's worth getting this um, this booster box, uh, which in the past it really has been. So we'll, we'll take a look at that that whole thing there, go through the numbers. Uh, but yeah, thanks for, thanks for watching. As I mentioned, definitely feel free to check out the store. I'm going to have some of these cards posted on that store uh, and... Um, Please like and subscribe because um, that, that will really help me out. Thanks, guys.